do a little recording with my phone here. But in this video, I'm showing you how to catch a bunch of blue catfish during spring. So this ain't the exact spot to hit this video, but it's going to show you kind of type of areas I'm fishing. So I'm on Navonics on my phone. I'm on Lake Norman. So right here, you see we got some nice humps. Humps on the main channel that get real shallow. So what I've been doing, if I mark any kind of fish or bait on these areas, I'll kind of anchor up on a ledge. And I'll cast kind of right, I'll probably anchor right here. So I'll cast real shallow and I'll cast kind of intermediate. And depending on what side of the boat I get the most hits from, I'll adjust. So if all of them hit shallow, then I'm going to move my boat over. So on these areas I've been working, I've been anchoring, I haven't been dragging. And I have, <coughs> excuse me, when I re-anchor, I don't move far. I just kind of adjust them based on how the bot is. So this is the type of areas I've been hitting here during early spring. Your humps and your shoals in the main channel next to deep water. As long as there's bait and fish there. I haven't been really trying to mark fish. But as long as I'm seeing bait there, I've been anchoring. So here's a good, nice hump. Right here we got some more good examples. Just nice humps and shoals. And usually if it's a shoal, especially on Lake Norman, they'll have a big old sign out there. But another thing I've been doing good right now is around shallows around the islands. You know, if you got your red clay flats, if a bunch of mussels. That's been producing really good for me. Stuff like this. These shallows. Another good thing to hit in spring. Your creek channels and beds. I know a lot of people will drag down a creek arm. Here we'll, Here's one. Reeds Creek. So yeah, if you're able to drag. If you drag down the creek. You're liable to find them. I haven't been doing good down creeks yet. My success has been on the main channels. Shallows on the main channel. So in this video here, I cut a lot of it out. I cut out some dinks. But, because it's already like 50 minutes long. But what we mainly focus on in this video is just shallow shoals. And stuff off the main channel. So here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, you missed a pretty part of the sunrise. GoPro is acting up. Oh, we out here early on Lake Norman. And I'm out here with some big old gizzards. 15 inches. And I got two about this size. And we're right here on the shoal, right here at sunrise, kind of on a ledge, get various depths. So I got a two shad about this size and some smaller ones, so we're going to get them cut up and get these rods casted out. And hopefully we'll get on some fish. Yesterday was terrible. I fished the whole upper end and caught like three fish all day. Fished all the way from the railroad bridge, all the way down to almost Rocky Creek mouth. Well, we got some good marks and a good bit of bait, so let me quit jabbering. Look at the bait breaking the surface right here. So let me quit jabbering and get these rods casted out. All right, I got that. Got those two gizzards cut up. And we are ready to cast 11 pieces out of two gizzards. I did moderate size pieces. Look at that. You ever want to know what the best catfish bait is? It's these right here. And I caught these yesterday on the crappy trip. Right in the back of a creek shallow like one feet deep like you ain't 
Let them mark them unless you're scanning for live scope. Look at this. I do have some smaller gizzards and I got a few white perch. Look at that big old bloody head. About need a 12 watt for this guy. Mm, let's get good hook exposure. I go crepes. Inspect the leader and main line. So if something grabs this, that's gonna be big. But here I say that and watch a 10 pound blue get it. That's usually what happens to me when I use big baits. A little blue gets it. That is a big head. There's a bunch of bait breaking the surface around here. We get the rest of these rods casted out and hopefully they'll go bending down. All right, he's still there. Yep, he's still there. He went shallow. I got wind shifted on me. I've faced my boat, facing it. Man, it feels pretty decent. I'm liking all this jerking he's doing. Santee. Not the best hook from what it looks like. Hell no, you ain't put me in that net. So, if that's the case, and they keep hitting shallow, then I'll adjust my anchor. That's a morning pig. Big old gizzard. All right, skunk out of the boat. 19 pounds, one ounce, 34 inches long. Big piece of gizzard shed. Oh, you're pooping on me. <clears throat> Big piece of gizzard shed on a Santee. Ooh, easy. He just nailed the boat. Shallow side, shallow side. Shallow shed, shallow shed. On Santee shallow side. <laughs> all right, I'm blew all the guts and stuff out. So that's a good sign. So I might work this show a little bit and just one anchor. But it gets real shallow. That and I need to adjust the anchor. Wind was blowing this way, now it's blowing this way. I was reeling them in. This one went down. I don't know if he's still there. Yeah, he's running with it. So yeah, I'm gonna go shallow. Oh man, he is running with it. There's a bait splashing over here. Fish jumping, birds diving. And it's, oh, he's got a little more fight in him than I thought. Yeah. Oh, bad blue. Of course, the smaller fish get hooked good, but when I 
get a monster. They don't. Stop that, uh, the heck with you. We'll get him from his good side. All right, let me uh, get this rod in and we will reconfigure our anchor and get into the wind. Hopefully, get another big fish that stays hooked. All right, so let me pull anchor and let's reconfigure. Oh, there, I got three rods casted out. We re anchored more on the show of all that stuff. This is that big tail piece. Man, he's flopping like crazy. Don't like it when they do that and they can get some slack. Oh. That's a floppy flailing big blue. Decent hooked. Oh, there's slime. Boom. In the net. Pretty much threw it in his mouth. A good tainer threw it in his mouth. Man, they are cleaning me out of big gizzards. Besides what's left, I got one piece on the board. Or besides what's on the rods, I got one piece that's on the board. Mmm, there's some thick, thick meat. Oh, I just hit myself. And I'll cast this <coughs> right back up there. Excuse me for the cough. I'm getting a wide spread, or I'm attempting to. All right, so let me get the rest of these casted out and hopefully we'll keep catching them. Well, they keep nailing it. Then there he is, he's on. Well, they are just running like crazy today. Well, I got one more rod casted out. And I looked over and this one's going down. This one was a smaller piece of shed. Uh, is that the wind or? Oh no, you ripped the shed. No. Oop. So your little eater. That was a smaller gizzard. All right, let me 
try this again. So this is a good spot. Nope. Oh. I might be backlash. Yeah, it seems they're out in the sides. So I might do. This one's a little bit bigger. Might do three rods on the side, then just four off the back. Ooh. Yeah, this might be. This might be the biggest of the trip. Or at least the hardest fighting. Still got the gizzard. No, oh, don't do that. You don't flop it out of your mouth. Here. Back on you. Y'all ain't gonna let me get casted out, are you? So he is the biggest of the day, just by a little bit. Whew. I believe that was number five. Or six. <laughs> Hard to keep track. All right, let me uh, try to get these all casted out here. All right, we got some drag pulling. Oh man. And we got another one going down. He's still there. Oh shit, my anchor came undone. That ain't good. Now these fish are gonna drag me. <laughs> I think this guy's still there. He's, he's hooked decent, it looks like. Still not a side. No, he's not. No, he's not. Shoot. Oh, time to get the net. That ain't good. Oh, dropped my gizzard. That ain't good at all. I'm to rail in these slack. Or something bad happens. Oh man. <laughs> Feels like he let go. Good grief. Let's see if this guy's still there. I don't think so. No. Ah, uh, that's why. That's why he's not there. Shad devil hooked itself.
That was a big gizzard head there, I think. Right, let's try like that. Hopefully it won't. Man. Fast action. <laughs> Let me get him situated. All right, got him situated. 18.9, 34 inches, I think he was. I don't know how my anchor rope got uh, undone. It's not really windy. All right, I'm gonna rebate him and check that rod. See if uh, still got the bait on it. Here we go. Maybe. I think he let her go. No. Nope. Just running good. God. They just run with it. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna cast more rods off the side here. Takes them off the back. Mmm. He's a fighter. He ain't big. Ain't nothing but a tween. I don't want Norman water in my mouth. Uh, come on, open him. Yeah, he's hooked good. Hits all the way through. I wish them bigger ones would do that. Yeah. Open her up. God, you put up a heck of a fight. So 29 inches, 11 pounds, three ounce, and fought like crazy. He had the perfect hook. It was all the way through the corner of the mouth. All right, so I'm gonna probably cast more rods out off the side here. Takes them off the back. Whew, cleaning me out of shad. All right, let me do that and then hopefully we'll just keep pounding them here. Brief. Oh, don't pop. That dragon's screaming. Never fails. Ain't the best rocky. Good Lord. Mm. Yeesh. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> oh, don't get slack. Shoot. Ah. He ain't done yet. Let's try to eat some beef jerky and drink a Coke.
Good thing I just changed the GoPro battery out. And, uh, oh, slippery. <laughs> I need to get some uh, new muck boots. I've done more of the tread off these. That's nice fish. All right, let me uh, get him situated and see what he is. All right, so the biggest of the day. Whew. 34 pounds, five ounces, 42 inches long. Fasty fella, he ran with it. Big old cut piece of accuser shed. He's got a big old head. <clears throat> Santee, probably teens. All right, back you go. Here's what we got him with. Santee rig. Disc weight, my three-way crane, three-inch cobble. I got a rat on it when I do drag. <clears throat> and a big old body piece of cut gizzard. All right, let's get it back out there. And now maybe I might can eat some beef jerky. Oh, listen to that drag. I'm not get the thing out of the rod holder. This feels like another good one. I got to eat a little bit of beef jerky though. Oh, don't do that. He's doing that flopping, flailing. I don't know if he's as big as that 34. He's probably coming in second. He's at the surface. Nah, he ain't as big as the 34. I think we might be in 20s. We're not hooked good. I'll tell you, these bigger ones just ain't getting a good hook. You get a seven to 11 pounder. They have that thing go all the way through. Guess maybe they're older and tougher. Or my mustads are getting dull. Get my old butt cushion out of the way. And yeah. right, on the rod. I don't know if which one is. Right, let's get you situated. All right. Eighteen point five thirty-three inches feisty teenager he fought like crazy yeah I can't tell stupid GoPro dang him boat wakes are hit yeah that's a fish that's a fish oh good god that's a fish <laughs> hopefully it's still on there Tell me he popped. I think he did. Ah! Ah, gum. Oh, that was on that massive gizzard head. Oh. Man, he just didn't get a good hook. He slowly took it. Man, that is two fish we missed today. No slime. So I'm wondering 
Is it flatheads or is it gar? All right, we got one right here. Of course, it ain't gonna be near as big and he's gonna get hooked perfect. Man, that sucks, I missed that one. I'm gonna say that's either a flathead or a gore that was. It's usually a blue, he's gonna leave some slime. Still decent fish what I got here, it's on that gizzard body piece. That's a fat blue, still muddy, decent hook, finally. Well, you covered in mud. Maybe that 40s we've been having. At night, early morning, might be having them. All right, 14 pounds even, 32 inches, covered in mud. Pretty fish. All right, it's almost 10 a.m. We'll say that's number, we'll say that's number 11. Well, I was reeling in the move until this one started going at it. Oh man. Been here almost 30. This has been the only activity. And the wind shift on me. I went shallower on this show we're sub 10 feet. This had a big old body piece. That's a decent blue. He's all wrapped in it. Yep. Now he's fighting. I hope you're hooked good. This might be the second biggest, oh no, the gizzard. Gotta save the gizzard piece. No, it fell. Oh, uh, rats. Flopping and flailing. Lost the gizzard. Oh. Small boat problems. <clears throat> yep. I'd say we're in 20s. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I might have to start rolling with something different than these mustads. I mean, they're not offsets. I don't know if that's the problem or what. All 
right, number 12. 28 pounds, five ounces, 40 inches long. Nice solid cat. About nine, 10 feet deep. Ooh, slimed. All right, so I think I'll still go ahead and move besides him. It's been nothing else right here. Plus the wind shifted and it's blowing against me. So I think I might go try the other side of the shoal anchor there and then after that I might just move to a completely different area. But let me go ahead and run all these in and uh, pull up the anchor. God, I can't get it out of the rod holder. All right, he's pulling the boat. Oh, don't tell me. He, I think he know he's just running. He's getting ready to scream if I lost another good fish. All right. Oh. I hit an inner shoal. My God. That one ain't hung. Look at that panther bend. This might be bigger than that. 34. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Get back up here. Nah. He fought though good grief he fought caught me off guard i just heard drag screaming yep nope it might be barely a 20. all right so 34 and a half inches 20 pounds even all right a bigger fight than that 34. the boat wakes all right new spot well he's still there yeah new spot and I ain't even got it all casted out yet we've hit this kind of shallow pocket by a bunch of islands and a creek bed that goes through it now I've got some good marks here Feisty fella. Well, you just done wrapped that all around you. Uh, I can't tell how good a hook you are. Here, you're being ornery. Mm. Oh. Ah, well, that was number 16. He's about a 20, ornery 20. Yeah, he wasn't good. Oh, well. Well, there's another. Oh, oh he popped. Oh, we got some geese fighting behind us. Well, definitely in the right spot. To that quick. Oh, he stole my bait. To that quick. All right, let me uh, get these casted out and everything rebaited up. I'm trying to re rig that one. All right, you better not pop, snap. You better get in the boat. <laughs> I don't know why, if this Andy monster, I've had like three of them do that. I don't know if it's just got phrase, but it's right on the hookup. I don't even get to the rod. And the main line just snaps. And of 
of course. This one ain't gonna be that big. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have some rain here shortly. But y'all have to waterproof everything. Looking blue. Feisty. Let's quit messing around and get them in the net. In the net. There we are. The official number 16. official number 16 32 inches 16 pounds 4 ounces and the first fish in this spot we've actually got in the boat though we've would have had like six here already man it's a pretty good little creek bed all right let me uh, finish re-rigging this and then we'll uh, bait both of these and get it out there. All right, there we go. Oh my God, that wind. It's choppy. Thought it was just a wind there for a bit. Hey, he's coming at it quick. I tell you, they, these guys today, they are flailing like crazy. Flopping, flailing. I can't tell if that's another one. What's going on with that one? Huh. It does look way over from where I casted it. Yes. Mm. Let me check it out. It's a number 17. That's a 10 pounder. 17. All right. We'll hang here a bit. If it goes quiet, we'll uh, probably head down to Cove, get out of this wind. Oh, got a runner here. Put on my rain gear and got my chest mount on. It's going to move spots. This guy slammed down on it. Well, I swear you all are. Rowdy. Number 18, white perch fillet, 18 feet of water, 
go the official number 18 15 pounds two ounces 32 inches what was with y'all tossing and turning yeah I can look here uh crocodiles death rolling all right let me get the rest of these in and we'll uh Go down a cove, get out of this wind. Here we go. Got us a runner. Wind's bad. I ducked down a cove. You done got into something, didn't you? Ducked down a cove, I swear to God. Beeline and stuff, I just snap the line. It's something he shouldn't be. He ain't fully hung though. Now he is. I swear. He wasn't huge. There he is. He's out. Duck down a cove, but there's nothing. Got a bump. It hasn't really rained too hard, it's just been drizzling on and off. Oh, another one. This is up from the anchor where we had the one break the main line. The creek bed. We got a shallow shoal right next to us. I got on the ledge. Alright, we need to chill out because I don't want to lose that perch. Yep. And of course you're not going to lose it that good. All right, number 19, 16 pounds, 2 ounces, 32 inches long. Hopefully we can get one more to get a 20. Y'all want to let go of the hooks, but y'all don't want to let go of the grips. Oh, that was my perch head. I'm not sure the exact depth. Here we go. Come on in the boat. This will be number 20. We get them in. Feels like another teener. Oh, good grief. Thrashing and flailing. It's actually reeling the move. in the boat Whew. what a day and we missed about another 20 <laughs> well just trying to get him situated Rolling 
about to leave. And now y'all hit. I might recast out this way then. Shoes. Can't believe they got water on it. This one feels pretty solid. I'm not using my mic. GoPro stand. Mm. This drizzle might not even be enough. I still don't want to risk ruining it. Alright, so let me get these fellas situated. Alright, let's get these fellers back in the water. That's 14. Pounds one ounce. Back you go. And man, this way. Thirty eight inches, twenty five pounds. Back you go. Alright, we'll give it another tad bit here. I was reeling in. They kind of hit a little bit. But I have bear hooks now. I got like a few shad, but they're tiny little things. So I think I'm going to throw back in the creek. Try to get some more shad for the next trip and maybe another spot or two tonight. That's 21 in the boat. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I need to go home and eat supper. But I mean, you couldn't have a better trip than this besides if we didn't lose every fish. But I did go back and throw it back at the creek and I got some monsters. I think this dude's already about dead. Monster gizzard shad. And he's yeah, he ain't moving too much. He's 17 inches. I have to slap him in the freezer. I got five of them. Not all of them that big, but most of them. I got plenty of marks here. Look at that little school of bait right there. But anyways. What did good today is shallows in the main channel. I haven't done good, done the creeks yet in spring. Let me shut this racket off. Oh, well, I shut this off, off, but didn't want to unplug it. So anyway, shallows off the main channel is where I've been doing good. We did the best on the shoal, and then real good down uh, around red clay shallows full of clams around islands in that creek bed but 21 fish in the boat and then I don't know how many we missed we missed some huge ones you to see on these hooks but we'll get at it uh, get at it again Thursday with these big old gizzards and hopefully we'll have an even better trip <laughs>